So how did you begin the application process to become a physical therapy master student at UBC? Mm -hmm. So again, I was kind of weird in that I started it super early, just like looking at their requirements. Yeah. Um, and then when it came down to it, I think I put it off a little bit because I was really stressed. Right. And then it was over winter break and kind of just did it all together. Right. But I knew that you needed two references. So I made right. sure that was the first thing I did was asking gotcha. the profs that I wanted to be my references. And like for their volunteer requirements, that's kind of why I got my job as a support worker. So I made sure at the end of the summer to get a reference letter from her and get her contact my supervisor, sorry. Right. And I told her that I'd be applying to UBC around December and that I'd gotcha. be reaching out to her for that. So she was prepared. So that was kind of my initial steps, gotcha. I guess. And in terms of the unique requirements to UBC's B2 mm -hmm. program, you know, aside from others, it seems like experience was a, a pretty big factor. Yeah. Were there any other unique requirements to UBC's BT program? Mm -hmm. So they were the most like specific um, and thorough in what they were expecting okay. all around. So even with their class requirements, like they require a psychology. And even though we do two uh, psych classes in our KIN program, it has the KIN course code and they right. don't accept that. They need gotcha. a psych course code. So like I knew that early on and took an elective to that had a psych course code. Yep. And I know a few people from McGill that applied to UBC did not know that, didn't get Shoot. an interview because of that. Um, so they're quite a little nitty gritty in some of their requirements and yeah. then like their volunteer was the most specific expectations they had they would not accept um general volunteering for your hours your hour minimum yeah. um, they had a lot of specifications of what they wanted so that was kind of unique and then yeah two reference letters and a resume and then they had a complimentary application where you got to talk about like your hobbies your awards gotcha. kind of sell yourself a little more on your well, not just school kind of stuff Gotcha. And did you ever contact someone from UBC's PT admissions like team at all or no? No, gotcha. I did. I wasn't sure if they would take my English because it didn't have an English oh, course okay. code. So I did email them about gotcha. that. Uh, did you ever try to contact someone from UBC's PT admissions staff before applying? Mm -hmm. I didn't gotcha. personally, but in hindsight, I wish I did. Um, and I recommend that anybody do because uh, they seem super open and super helpful and gotcha. a great resource. Just to give you like tips on the process yeah. or something that you might need that you might be missing. Gotcha. Sure. Cool. Uh, if you were to redo your entire application process specifically for UBC's PT program, yeah. whether that be getting certain types of experiences in your undergrad, how would you try and make that application even better? Honestly, I was pretty happy with my <laughs> <laughs> application, like not Fair to enough. toot my own horn. Like, gotcha. to be honest, first year I looked at their requirements and for four years was kind of catering what I was doing to Amazing. UBC. So don't think I would have redone it. Right. Yeah. I think it speaks volumes <laughs> to the, the earlier you look at the requirements mm -hmm. and the more you can cater what you, like what you did, mm -hmm. cater your essentially your entire degree in terms of like your courses, the experience. Yeah. Obviously the results pay off at the end of the day just because you catered so much to that, those admission requirements that makes well, sense also, that you got in. It made it so much more less stressful because right. I kind of had time to prepare for it. Right. Whereas I know a lot of people only figured out some of the requirements in their senior years yeah. and they were kind of stressed to meet it. Gotcha. Whereas I had kind of more time to cool. perfect my application. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. In general, can you tell us what the interview is like during your UBC PT application? Mm -hmm. So they do the MMI, the okay. multiple mini interviews, gotcha. which is like 10 stations and you have a couple minutes at each station um, and then you rate, rotate through. Gotcha which I thought was going to be the most stressful experience of my life, yeah. um, ended up going really well. Um, took some steps to prepare. So you can find a lot of previous questions or practice questions gotcha. online. Um, and you can kind of see the trends of the questions they kind of ask about. Okay. So there's always going to be some kind of acting station where you have to interact with somebody else. Um, whereas the interview is like a playing a role and you right. have to interact with them. There's normally a station based on communication. It takes on all kinds of forms. Uh, there's a written station and you always know there's going to be something on kind of rural community health or Aboriginal health. Right. So you can kind of prepare for general topics, but at the same time, like they kind of throw stuff at you that you can't prepare for. Right. And I think just being kind of confident in yourself and the experiences that you've had was a big help, but I definitely practiced just like talking out loud either to my family members or recording myself just so I got comfortable speaking yeah. so that when I went into the interview, I felt very confident and like how to articulate my thoughts and points. Right. 
And don't get stressed if like one goes wrong because yeah. just go into the next one yeah. fresh. Seems like you have 10. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 10 Perfect. tries to get it right, hopefully. Great. Yeah. And how long is UBC's PT program? 26 months. How long does it take for someone to be able to become a physiotherapist, mm -hmm. just even starting from an undergrad degree? Like how many years yeah. does it take? So for me, it would be six years gotcha. and two months, four okay. years of undergrad and then two in two months. Gotcha. Masters. Do you have yeah. any other tips for students trying to apply to study physiotherapy at UBC? Mm -hmm. Be confident. Don't get stressed. Like I had a lot of road bumps along the way in my undergrad um, and a few times thought there was no way I was going to get into UBC. Right. But I think you can't get in that mindset. You gotta keep working at it and diversify your experiences. Like sure. they want a well-rounded candidate. They don't want someone totally academic. And don't be afraid to show off your personality in the interview cool. or in your internships or gotcha. shadowing.